All right, guys, time to continue our series explaining some of the songs from Fall Out Boy's new album, Mania. And today we are talking about the last of the real ones. I know I'm a little bit late explaining this because it actually came out months ago, but better late than never, right? Also, be sure to check out my other videos explaining songs by Fall Out Boy. They're really good. The videos and the songs too, that's true. Essentially, The Last of the Real Ones is about a woman who is the last of the real ones. One of the real women who you can really know and who can really know you and you can understand each other and it's all so great. Is it all so great? Maybe not. Let's check out what Fall Out Boy has to say. In verse one, we're introduced to this female. So the narrator sings, I was just an only child of the universe and then I found you. So I was alone in the giant world and then here you were. His initial reaction to her, you were too good to be true. Gold plated, but what's inside you? Now that's a very fair question. If she is too good to be true and the outside is perfect, what's going on on the inside? And that's the question we go into the rest of the song with. And in the chorus, Fall Out Boy tells us, cause you're the last of a dying breed. Write our names in the wet concrete. I wonder if your therapist knows everything about me. Okay, so she may be the last of the dying breed, but she's not doing so hot either. She does have a therapist when there's nothing wrong with that, of course, but it suggests that she has some struggles she's going through that she needs outside help from. So why is she the last of the real ones? Well, we'll continue to find out. They seem to be getting along well together, the narrator thinking that if the therapist knows more about him, it could mean that it's more serious. And the narrator claims that at least he's serious. I'm here in search of your glory. There's been a million before me, so there's a lot of other guys you've liked and it's all good. That ultra kind of love you never walk away from. You're just the last of the real ones. And so I don't know what exactly she is doing to suggest that she is the last of the real ones, but the narrator really believes that she is, that she's a good fit for him and he really likes her. And that takes us into verse two. My head is stripped just like a screw that's been tightened too many times when I think of you. Speaking as someone who has done some woodwork and, and tried to like screw things in and then the stupid screw gets all like screwed up and so you can't even unscrew it and now it's stuck and you got two pieces of wood stuck together. You can't get unstuck, uh, I can see how that would be difficult for him. Basically, it means that he's stuck thinking of her and he claims that he's gonna stick with her. If they find you, I will protect you. Just tell me I am the only one even if it's not true. Now, this is one of the first signs of an unhealthy relationship. A healthy relationship goes both ways. The narrator is telling her, even if you don't love me, just let me live in this world that I've created where you are the perfect one for me, where I am completely in love with you. So essentially, he's asking her to help him maintain a fantasy world. Now, it may not be a fantasy world, but if there is no real world that matches what he wants, he wants to at least be able to live in the fake one. Not for certain, but it is a bad sign. And then down here in the bridge, we hear something that sounds kind of sweet. I'm done with having dreams, the thing that I believe, oh, you drain all the fear from me. And so he likes her so much and feels so comfortable around her that he doesn't even feel like he has to daydream anymore. He doesn't dream because he feels like he's living the dream with her. She is the quote, thing that I believe in. And that is The Last of the Real Ones by Fall Out Boy Explained. Guys, don't forget to check out these videos here. I know you'll like them because you liked this one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're old to the channel, hit that ding bell. It'll make my dreams come true so that I don't have to dream any longer. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time.